Big thanks to Kartra for sponsoring this week's video. All right, so what do you shoot as a stock photographer? Literally anything. <laughs> A few months ago, I published a calendar, a stock photography calendar, with ideas of what to photograph for stock photography. Remember, the idea is that you need to photograph these things three to four months ahead of time so that the agencies have time to review them, your images have time to be available, and then buyers have time to use these photos before the holiday or whatever celebration is happening. Here in the US, we have a lot of celebrations because we are very a very commercial country. And so that's why I wrote a lot of these very commercial things that I could think of. Uh, the month of July has quite a few. It's now a good time to start shooting things for Halloween. In the month of July, we have a few things that go hand in hand. So you can shoot some of these in the same photo shoot if you wish. We have National Kale Day. Well, that goes with World Vegetarian Day, which also goes with Mental Illness Awareness Month or week. All right. I see what you did there and that's not what I meant. I meant that if you eat healthy, then you will have better mental health. That was the point I was trying to make. So anyway, I chose World Vegetarian Day. Now, how do you shoot something for World Vegetarian Day? You shoot ve vegetarian food. <laughs> now, before I show you what I did and before I show the B-roll, which by the way, is also stock footage. Remember, as you're taking pictures, you can also do stock footage. So before we do this, let's cue the music. No, that's like way too country barbecue thing. That's not, no, that's a bit too slow. All right, I can go with this one. Let's go with that. Now, obviously, not all of these clips are gonna make it to stock footage because, well, first of all, my table was way too shaky. It's not a solid table. A solid countertop. If you're gonna slice bread, you need a solid countertop. But look at how simple these clips are. Easy to make at home. Uh, good light, solid table if you can, and then you just show the process. That's how easy it is to make stock footage. And then, of course, you can make pictures of the same thing. Now yes, another photo, another good photo would have been me eating the avocado toast, but I didn't have any bacon to go with it. That would have been, uh, but I did not have any bacon to go or sliced steak with the avocado and the sourdough toast. Ooh, that would have been awesome. But look how simple this was. I toasted some bread with butter, sliced avocado, tomatoes for color, and then a couple of sprouts just to make it look good. Oh, and salt, coarse sea salt. That, you like that, huh? That was just to make it look good, something uh, presentable, something that you would get at a restaurant. You don't have to complicate things too much. This is a great way to get some photos. And, and if you get some really good photos, you can put those on your website so you can target new clients. I have a lot of clients that own restaurants. That's what a lot of my income comes from and for shooting for different restaurants. So if I can practice at home and get really good shots, now I can put those on my website and target different restaurants, different business owners, depending on what you wanna shoot. If you're trying to shoot something for uh, Oktoberfest, beers, the, the whole thing, now you can approach a bar. If you're shooting something for Farmer's Day, if you live in a farm, you can practice with this, do photography and videography, and now you can approach a client, which leads to the sponsor of this week's video. If you have your own business, if you have your own website, you know that a pretty website is not all it's gonna take. You need to drive sales to that website. I need to have a product to sell that product. And to sell that product, I need help, I need marketing. And that's when Kartra, the sponsor of this video, comes in. If you wanna build an online business that lets you earn money from what you know and what you love, you're gonna need more than a, just a pretty website. Trust me, I've had a website for 10 years and I need to find a way to drive sales. <laughs> 
the people who are really generating revenue online are building high converting landing pages that can capture leads. They're building sophisticated marketing funnels to turn those leads into customers. And you can do this using marketing automation that can drive sales while you sleep. You can spend years learning how to do this yourself and trust me, I've tried, but marketing is a whole nother game. Or you can let my sponsor Kartra do this for you in a simple drag and drop interface. With Kartra, it's never been easier to grow your list, host webinars, sell your knowledge, and scale your brand. Kartra also features a built-in AI writing assistant that understands your voice, your target audience, and your business goals. You'll never have to stare at a blank page again. It is time to turn your passion into profit. You can use my link, kartra.com slash wallerts. You'll get a 30-day free trial and 30% off your first month or year when the trial ends. Now, let's get back to the video. So as you can see, it is not that complicated to make things for stock. Any, I mean, literally, World Habitat Day. What does that mean to you? Look up some ideas on, on the same platforms you're selling. Put your spin on them. Farmer's Day, World Pasta Day. Do you know how to make pasta at home? Do you have the machines? Do you pass the roller or can you do it by hand? These are things that would be very easy. World Taco Day, International Coffee Day, Child Health Day. I mean, there's so many different things that you can photograph for stock. And like, as you've seen here, I got 45 pictures in one hour of avocado toast. And I could get another 45 if I wasn't hungry enough that I had to go eat. Somebody eating it on white backgrounds, different backgrounds, different bread. I could keep this going forever and ever. I mean, 45 photos in one photo shoot. And if you can do this two or three times a week, now you're looking at 150 to 200 photos a week that you could upload for stock. And that's what it takes if you're talking about stock photography, it takes numbers. I recently watched a video that Chris Howe put out and at first, well, he's talking about uh, work versus reward. We usually do the work to get the reward. We take the pictures so we can sell them and make money. We take the pictures and video so we can go on vacation. We go do a job so that we can buy a new car, whatever. We do things expecting that reward. When it comes to stock photography, and what he was saying is this is not, don't look at it that way, change your mindset. So now your work is your reward. And my first thought is what is he on? What, what do you mean your work is your reward? Why would I be doing this if I wasn't making any money? And then I find myself here in the studio making this when I'm not making any money. <laughs> So this is my reward, sitting here, moving the lights, planning the photo shoot, cutting the avocado, like literally trying to capture all this. That's what I enjoy doing. And if I can upload this to stock and maybe make some money, then that's what I'm gonna do. Why not? Now, part of the strategy, and I don't think I've shared this before in my channel, but if you do photo shoots like this every week and you do 200 images a week, that's actually not a lot. It, it, remember, this is a job. And if you can do a couple hundred photos a week and upload those consistently, in a few years time, each one of those photo shoots is gonna make you a minimum of 50 bucks. I mean, I can't guarantee this. The photos have to be good and your things are good. But in my experience, a minimum of 50 bucks a photo shoot. That doesn't sound like a lot. But let's look at this 10 years down the road. Every week, it's 50 bucks. Every week, it's 50 bucks, and they keep adding. So 10 years down the road, how many weeks is that? And at 50 bucks minimum a week, how much is that? Not every photo is going to sell. You need the numbers. You need amounts of photographs, and you're gonna learn a lot while you're doing this. This is a reward. Everything else that comes after that is gravy. So if you're doing this for money, then stop. Stop because this is gonna take a long time and if you don't enjoy the process, then it's gonna be work, you're gonna burn out and you're just not gonna do it. You're not gonna give it justice. You're, you're not gonna be shooting 100 photos a day because it's not what you like to do. So in this case, I can see how this applies. Learning, moving the lights, playing with the backgrounds, replacing things, doing the salt thing on the, on the avocado. If that is not what you like to do, then don't do it. Go find something else. Stock is not a get rich quick, it takes time, dedication, and literally, if you can do a couple hundred photos a week, every photo shoot, different themes, different subjects, then you're gonna have success. Again, I can't guarantee this because I don't know what kind of photographer you are. You need to be good, you need to have good lighting, good images, 
and you need to be consistent. That's how you're gonna get better at stock photography. You have a lot of ideas in this calendar. Again, totally free, go to wallacephotography.com and you can download this. There's a link down below. And every month has 15 to 20 ideas of what you can photograph. Again, it's easy if you dedicate the time, if you learn, if you get those numbers up. And you know I feel passionate about this because one take. This was one take. <laughs> so you know I believe what I'm saying because it's not scripted. I don't have, it, it, literally one take. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. <laughs> now, most of these photos I shot with the 70 to 200 because it gives me close enough. If you can see, I was trying to avoid the background because I don't have a kitchen. This is literally just a, a table with distracting elements in the background. So all I did was use the 70 to 200 to get close. And even though it's a 2.8, I used it from F4 to F8 because I want depth. When I'm shooting food, I wanna show everything that's on the plate. And even though there's some shallowness here and there, it's not 2.8, it's F4 to F8. You wanna give more of what's on the plate. So that's what I did for this photo shoot. I had steady lights, I didn't even use my flashes, I just used my video lights, handheld most of the time, and it was enough light to get these images. Most of them have been accepted already, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> and hopefully they will start selling soon. I wanted you to see how easy it is to take your list, get some ideas and start making pictures. I could take the same idea, World Vegetarian Day, and look at how many vegetarian dishes you could do. Literally anything that you eat, if you know a vegetarian, uh, cauliflower steak on the barbecue, some sweet pea sauce, I mean anything, anything that you eat, tahini sauce with uh, chickpea hamburgers, Whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you can see at the store that says vegetarians, you can photograph that. Somebody eating them, uh, healthy, uh, conscious, whatever, that is what will sell for stock photography. Again, you don't have to complicate things. Keep it simple usually works best. Avocado toast, who doesn't like a slice of sourdough bread with fresh sliced avocado and some tomato for color? To me, it was a no-brainer. Different plates to change the settings so that they all don't look the same, different backgrounds. That's literally all you have to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and start shooting. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.